Hey guys, my name is Mike. I'm a wedding photographer. I co-own Evermore Imaging with Nicole. And today I want to talk about some flash gear. In the group, we see a lot of questions of people looking to either upgrade their gear or find a starting point. So I wanted to show you what we personally use in hopes to help you guys find your next flash system. Since we're on the Godox system, I want to start with the Speedlight, which is the V862. Uh, the reason we like these so much is because they come with these nice little lithium ion batteries. Not only is it less bulk, uh, less batteries to charge, but they tend to be just as strong and recycle just a little faster in our experience. Next up is the workhorse, the AD200. You see these everywhere, a lot of people love them. Main two reasons being they're about as strong as three speed lights and very similar in size. So for the amount of strength and portability, you can't really beat that in the wedding world especially. Next thing I wanted to talk about is how we trigger those flashes. So the less gear you're carrying and the lighter it is, the better off you're gonna be at the end of the day. So that's the reason we like the Godox system too. All the units talk to each other. So for instance, during receptions, I can use this speed light on camera and trigger two 8200s off camera. Or for during sunset pictures, I can use just the Pro Trigger and AD200s off camera to really bring back the sunsets with the softbox. Last thing I wanted to cover are some modifiers. I'm a huge fan of MagMod and Westcott's Rapid Box. First up, we have MagMod. I've really fallen in love with this system because once you have the grip on your flashes, you can easily attach anything just by placing it on there. There's a variety of gels, diffusers. I highly recommend them. But sometimes there's no replacing the good old fashioned softbox. I actually have to credit Esteban for showing this to me a while back. It's Westcott's 26 inch rapid box. It works with your 8200s, your speed lights. For the size and weight, it's really hard to beat. So that's what we're using for wedding photography. What skin gear are you using? Post those in the comments below and let me know what you thought of the videos. This is my first time in front of the camera and I'd love to be able to make more for you guys, hopefully to help out some people in the group. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.